Hello everyone, Tom here, aka Chronic Fanboy. Today we're gonna play the um, Leo 2 A4 Evolution in Armored Warfare. Um, to my personal opinion, I think this tank is the best tank in the Leopard 2 line. I, th I think it can still stand a chance when you're being up tiered, meaning you got thrown into a tier 9 or t even tier 10 match despite it's a uh, tier 8 tank so uh, so gonna introduce uh, what's different uh, about this tank apart from other Leopard 2 tanks um, so first of all you see all this uh, add-on armors around the turret this is what the tank used to be like this is the uh, standard Leopard two, uh, basic model of the Leopard 2 um, and this is w w the one with the add-on module so you see we the thickness after um, applying the add-on module um, you can see the wedge shape uh, module is so much forward that I doubt the um, driver can actually climb out because it's kind of obstructing um, his um, escape area above the hatch um, you got extra I think I believe all this bulkiness they are like uh, yep you can see it's uh, actually space armor uh, inside this module so it, so it's not like a solid material so it won't add too much extra weight to this uh, vehicle uh, since the the rear is uh, less fun it's uh, less area where it's less likely to be attacked so they use slight armor instead of the um, um, extra add-on to save weight so uh, let's go into that match so now we are in operation anvil and we just got up tiered so we got nines and tens in the same match so uh, wish me luck Mobility is decent. Uh, I add the pre-cleaner to increase the uh, for first rate for the hull, and I think I have the uh, turn drive installed to for a better um, turn first. And um, of course, I have the um, enhanced uh, breach lock for a shorter reload time just now we just took a shot to the side of the turret that was uh, my mistake I lack the um, situational awareness so uh, right now I intend to move along the 1 and 2 line along this main route to spot enemy vehicles gonna fall back into defilade You can see um, the add-on module um, kind of bolster the um, area between the turret ring and underneath the gun magnet. So technically uh, if you keep your gun aiming down, there's no way the enemy could penetrate your turret ring or your gun breach. Got pop smoke fall back once we reload we move back up to the defilade wait for the smoke to clear target acquired on the way oh he just got friend fired by uh, another AI T9 TMS is hiding behind the dead carcasses so I cannot aim at his uh, lower uh, glacius 
Guess we just have to flank him. And he just made a mistake by um, traversing to the left. Gonna advance ahead other players so I can spot and earn the ribbons and fall back. That was a lousy shot. Yeah, the only um, area that I'm getting hit is the uh, commander's uh, panoramic uh, TV, which panoramic uh, camera, or the um, commander's independent uh, TV. Yeah, a one the, the most uh, certain way to penetrate is to aim at his lower glaciers with AP rounds ten out of ten it will guarantee a penetration so right now wow I'm the top in terms of damage uh, dealt to the enemy. This tank is flying with the um, engine oil consum consumables. Gonna switch to heat since we're low on AP uh, sable rounds. We got more contacts at Delta 7. We got a T15 coming down the middle. Gonna finish him off. Gonna get a shot off this uh, T fifteen to get assist. Got an AM mix uh, wheel tank destroyer. Oh, high angle. Disabled his track, so he's uh, dead in the water now. Gonna flank around. Gonna scout around. Bravo 425, Bravo 5 uh, area near the gate 
see if there's more NPC spawning. Got an Abrams. Gonna try and hit the sweet spot. And time's up. So, uh, with premium, we got. 182,000 uh, credits, six, nearly 7,000 um, reputation. Got the blue star, earned the highest reputation in this in a successful PVE mission. Support fire assist the most enemy kills in a successful PVE mission. Shooter hit at least 80% of 20 or more shots with a total of 2,000 potential damage or more in a PVE mission. Teamwork complete a successful PVE mission with no, no friendly losses. Oh wow, so I spot the most and I have the, uh, deal the most dam damage to the enemy. So uh, just a quick update, uh, for my tank I have the advanced or improved gun breach, cost 3 million. Uh, any even what uh, 0 0.01 seconds uh, shorter on the reload time it matters I got the augmented optics for tanks uh, so that it can see further and the pre pretty cleaner to help the uh, with the hull truffers um, so for crew I got um, the spin to win and the off-road acceleration for the driver skill uh, shooter skill I got the aim speed and the turn traverse although I might f I'm thinking of uh, switching the whole traverse with the uh, shoot from the hip which uh, minimize the uh, the minimum accuracy which is which means the circle when it's the biggest it contracts by a little bit so along with your aim time helps um, you to achieve the maximum accuracy um, in no time. For loader, uh, I have this set uh, configuration for all of my tanks so when your loader first reach um, level 1 I had a rapid fire on for them so reduce the reload time and when they reach level 4 I will choose explosives uh, shell for them since some um, preparation or secure S preparation doesn't really help me much because I don't really swap ammo usually I just fire the um, current ammo in the gun breach then load a different ammo type uh, secure ammunition uh, it increased the ammo rack hit points by 30% I never had ammo rack even uh, in both PvP and PvE, so I mean for now, so it's not useful for me. So compared to the um, base Leopard 2, uh, turn traverse is slightly better, aim time is slightly better, uh, the gun is still, still the same, the Ryan Mattel 120mm L44 gun, so uh, the maximum deviation and gun depression is up. It's the same. Uh, field range. It's slightly different because for the Evo, I had the augmented optics on. How traverse? Um, the Leopard 2 Evo may have a better power pack, which contributes a better how traverse time. And same for the um, acceleration time. Of decrease the acceleration time 0 to 32 kph from 6 seconds to 4.5 seconds and it has a better uh, top speed and armor of course it features a thicker armor uh, reload time is about the same since it's the same gun and not nothing much um, I don't think there's much uh, change in the interior most of the um, uh, improvement I made um, in the uh, exterior. exterior. Uh, it has more damage, probably because it 
it's a uh, tier 8 tank, not tier 7 tank. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, uh, I had several matches where I'm in uh, tier 10, majority of the team is tier 10, and my Leopard 2A4 Evolution is just eating enemy ATGM like breakfast. So uh, a suggestion to um, Obsidian or my .com, instead of giving us the Leopard 2 AX for uh, tier 10 Leopard 2 uh, slot, maybe we perhaps we can have the Leopard 2 A4 Evolution to tier 10. Maybe offer us a uh, uh, research upgrade on the parts. Maybe we can switch out the L44 gun to a uh, L55 gun so which means longer barrel which means uh, more penetration and more damage I mean that's not necessary to uh, put a one for the new 130 uh, millimeter experimental uh, gun on the Leopard 2A for EVO if it's put into a tier 10 oh that was just I hope that. you guys like it um, don't forget to like share and subscribe comment on uh, what you guys want to s which tank I w want me to play next and I'll see you around